Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Amanda and today is of course a face mask Fridays video. Apologies for not doing one last week. We had a, an emergency of sorts. Um, my kids and I got in a car accident and was not just able to do a face masks um, video last week. So um, I hope everyone is well and ready for Christmas. We're just about there. I think we just need um, breakfast for Christmas, some last minute items for bre Christmas breakfast. So, um, so take those off. As always, we start with a face wipe. I found some from the Dollar Tree. This one's a cocoa butter one. So we're going to try this one out for a little while, see how this one works. Our face mask for this week is from The Cream Shop. It's rose water infused essence mask. So, it is very cold here, so trying to do the sheet masks. Um, that way, add some moisture to my face. As I said, the only thing we really need for Christmas is breakfast. I think we're going to do another turkey for Christmas dinner, just because in case there, we can't get a hold of a ham. Um, I, I didn't want to stress out about it, and I already know we have like a ton of turkeys or not a ton but like enough saved up from um saved up from thanksgiving when the turkeys were on sale so if i just take a turkey out and use that and then whatever hams i get i'll probably save in the chest freezer maybe we can have like a ham dinner in like january or something this is good. Tried to not stress out about it. This one's weird. It opens on the bottom instead of the top. So let's see how this works. Trying to make sure I don't ooh, stress out about it. Um, trying to make Christmas as stress free as possible. Um, I think our breakfast is going to be like a charcuterie board type thing. Um, we have the in-laws coming over for a little while so to make things easier on myself I figured that would be like the best way to do breakfast. I can do like mini muffins and like mini pancakes and mini waffles the night before and just um, warm those up. And I'll do like cinnamon rolls or whatever in the morning and then add like maybe bacon and stuff. Oh, this nose piece always gets me. Ooh, it's cold. All right, here we go. Smells good. Can smell the rose. I always hate those little pieces that go over here because they never set right. Alright, make sure we get under here. Like I said, I like these ones during the winter because my face gets really dry in the winter and then really sweaty in the summer. So these ones during the summer aren't that great just because like... I'm always afraid that they're gonna make me break out so saving them for the winter when I probably need the moisture is best. See this is what I'm talking about is they like fall down and don't really stay anywhere. So I figured this week I didn't really have anything Christmas related or any hauls or you know any unboxing videos so I figured this week we would talk about the book that I'm currently reading, so I haven't done one of these in a while. Um, 
I just kept having a hard time getting into books and um like I literally just read Girl Interrupted which is what the movie's based off of. It was really good but just to sit down and read um was really hard. Um it was a short book and it was a good book but um with having had you know my car and stuff we were doing library trips and going to see friends and stuff so trying to get through it even if it, though it was a short book it was kind of hard so now that we're home for a little bit until the car situation gets figured out um trying to catch up on some of the books that i've been meaning to read uh, i bought a lot from the bookstore at the library i also have ordered some from amazon I got one for the one that I'm about to do today I got for my birthday so I think that's gonna be kind of the plan for the next couple of months until until things get figured out as I just I catch up on the books that I've been reading and then hopefully by the spring we'll have a car again um we'll be able to travel again and do other stuff I know that three of the towns in our area all have like the free little libraries so um, I've been doing the one like closest to my house at the library that we attend or you know use and there's like two other free little libraries so my hope is that like with the cold weather and not really wanting to drive in the snow and stuff anymore that hopefully I will get through a lot of my books and then we'll have plenty to kind of fill up the free libraries this spring so I like doing it that way instead of just trying to like donate them to like Goodwill or something so that way other people can kind of get enjoyment out of them I know some people aren't like particularly crazy over them or whatever because they don't actually really like I don't know like I've seen some TikToks where people are like, oh, I don't really like the free little libraries because, you know, it doesn't really promote literacy or whatever, but it's kind of nice to like, like it goes in the hands of the community instead of like people just selling them for profit. So I'd rather pass it along to somebody else who'd be willing to read it other than, you know, I mean, I guess if you're giving it to a thrift store, they'd do it too, but people would want to read it but I would rather do it the free library way. Anyway, continuing on, the book I am currently reading is this one. It's called Fan Fiction, a memoir um, inspired by true events. It's by Brent Spiner. Um, I don't know, in case you don't know who Brent Spiner is, he is a an actor and he is probably most famous for uh, Commander Data on Star Trek The New Generation and he has done some other stuff. He was also in, what is the name of that Will Smith movie? Um, Independence Day. He was in, in, in Independence Day and I guess he's done some other stuff but his most notable work is um, Commander Data on Star Trek The Next Generation. Um, this is what the back looks like. It's just some reviews of the book. Um, this is one side of the cover. I don't know if you can read that. It's small still. It says... Um, it's Los Angeles, early 90s, the explosive success of Star Trek The Next Generation has rocketed the cast of global fame. Everyone knows who you are, life is good, or who they are, life is good. But one day while on set, the young and impressionable actor Brent Spiner receives a mysterious package in the mail, and when he finally gets around to opening it, it sets off a deeply disturbing mystery. Soon, bizarre and terrifying letters start to follow. Brent has no choice but to enlist the help of Paramount Security. But that's not enough. This is serious. The LAPD is needed too. Even the FBI gets involved. Um, someone needs to put a stop to this danger before Brent's life and career end up hanging in the balance. From a cast of characters, 
Featuring a cast of characters from Patrick Stewart to LeVar Burton to Trek creator Gene Roddenberry to those completely imagined, this fictional autobiography takes readers deep into the life of Brent Spiner. Uh, it tells an amazing tale about the trappings of celebrity and the fear Brent has carried with him in his entire life. Uh, fan fiction is a zany love letter to a world in which we all participate, the wonderful and terrifying phenomenon of fandom. And then... What the back looks like. Picture of Brent Spiner. It says Brent Spiner is an actor, comedian, and singer best known for playing the android Lieutenant Commander Data on Star Trek Next Generation from 1987 to 1994. He has appeared in numerous television roles and films and in theater on Broadway, off Broadway, and in Los Angeles. He currently has a role in the TV star uh, TV series Star Trek Picard. So this book is actually I'm only I'd say about three quarters of the way through. I only got a little bit left of this book, and it's actually really really good. Um, I think if you are a Star Trek fan or you know who who Brent Spiner is, you would really like this book. Um. I remember watching like reruns and stuff with my mom growing up and watching some of the episodes and then my husband and I re-watched it later as we got older and um, I wasn't like a huge Star Trek fan but I loved like sci-fi, I'm more of a Star Wars nerd, uh, but I loved like sci-fi and action stuff so it was something I enjoyed growing up and I think probably that fueled that love of like sci-fi and action type stuff so um I personally like it and I also personally like his humor in it as well um his humor is kind of like it's not bad humor or plotting humor or anything but um there is he definitely has like a different kind of humor than most people um, there are a few, like, inappropriate parts where, like, he does stuff or whatever, but it's not, like, too, too bad. Um, so, but, um, overall, I definitely give this book, um, definitely think very highly of this book. I love, like I said, I think it's because I get the references and I watch Star Trek. I think if you didn't ever watch um, Star Trek The Next Generation, you probably wouldn't get a lot of the stuff that's going on or what he's talking about because it happened during that time. So, as always, I thank you for watching my videos and I hope you have a great day.